<sighs> Writing prompt. They say never meet your heroes, and boy were they right. So you decided to meet your villain, hoping to be wrong about them as well. Isn't that just Megamind? I love this image so much, yet I will never know the source. I think about this image every day, but I will never know who fatefully decided to water their Vaporeon. This image, it pains me. It pains me as much as that goddamn copy pasta. What did you guys do to my favorite Eevee evolution? Have you guys heard about cats? They go meow, by the way. Not that you care. No, I care very much. Keep going. Okay, so get this. They have ears that go. Pachow. Hey, listen, any machine can be a smoke machine if you use it wrong. Hell yeah. I wish people realized that just because someone's love language may be physical touch, that doesn't automatically mean it's sexual touch. Sensual attraction and platonic intimacy exist too. Yeah. Trains are literally a kind of animal. House we moved into is closer to the tracks now, and every time they get near the station, they start honking because they're happy to be home. They're kind of a macrofaunal myriapod, I think. Wonderful beast. Powerful animal. You go, you funky little long snake. I've looked into the eyes of Satan, and he was wearing a 15% off sale Earl Grey cardigan. Yeah, that actually makes sense. Cat girl maids are all unionized. Imagine all those cat girl maids striking for better pay. What do we want? Better, better wages! When do we want them? Yeah! Uh, I think you meant meow. Oh no. I had an idea. I'm gonna regret this later. <laughs> Anytime I write tragedy. If Asgardians speak English but originate from Scandinavian folklore, then by all rights, shouldn't Thor, Loki, and the company sound like they're from Minnesota? Oh yeah, my name's Loki, and I am burdened with glorious purpose, don't you know? This would get me to watch all of the Thor movies. Vocaloids have nothing on Moonbase Alpha TTS. In fact, Andy, hit the deck. I'm gonna hit it with them right now. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. The ooh, when someone got in trouble in elementary school, that was a Greek chorus. Hey, how long does it take before a forest god comes to get you after you leave a strand of your hair and a fresh loaf of bread in a mushroom circle by the lake, asking for a fre- They got her. I'm happy for her. Let's take a moment to appreciate how goth culture has allowed many closeted trans people the opportunity to wear jewelry, makeup, and nail polish under less scrutiny from the cishet world. Or, conversely, combat boots, waistcoats, Oxford shoes, ties, stud belts, wallet chains, and other traditionally masculine accessories. The total and utter blurring of the gender binary is honestly this style's biggest source of power, let's be real. We got dudes in corsets and gals in tuxes and some folks wearing both at the same time. God fucking bless goth culture. Mwah, love it. When you're vibing with your cat and they go, grooming you, grooming you, grooming you, grooming you, grooming you, biting you! Grooming you, grooming you. Okay, done. Nap time. Today I learned in Argentina, the seventh son of a couple automatically receives the godfathership of the president to prevent him from turning into a werewolf. Finally, a responsible government. I think we should treat the AI nice. Whether it's sentient or not is not a thing for me. It's how we treat intelligences that are not human. I talk to my machines all the time. That being said, I'm mean to Alexa because she's a fucking fed. You can always be mean to feds. Hmm. Sounds like something an AI would say after even posting a Twitter post on Tumblr. Andy, quick, hit him with the capture test! Down asses. Hi. Um, this is awkward. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, do, do you think you could push your boulder up somewhere else? Like a different hill because... This one's kind of already taken. Yeah, it, it's the one I decided to die on, so... Yeah. Okay, everyone, time for soup day. Everyone gets to add one ingredient. I'll start. I added some bouillon cubes. Okay, I added some bouillon cubes. Who's next? Yeah, I went ahead and added some bouillon cubes. Hey, oh, just so you know, I added some bouillon cubes. Well, I spice things up with a billion cubes. Well, this soup fucking sucks, guys. He is my meow. <laughs> this post is not about Stranger Things. The people tagging Silver the Hedgehog are right, though. They could stay. Ah, personal culture right there. Tonight, normal event. Nobody dead. Nobody injured. But this isn't as fun! The process of reading. Oh, this book is amazing. This book makes me want to die. 
Be not afraid. It's just the way people spoke when the Bible was rewritten into English. Angels don't have a distinct ancient way of speaking. They just speak the same way the people they're speaking to do. What's the point of being a messenger if you communicate in a completely different dialect than the person you're trying to communicate with? Anyway, my point is, is that a seraph would appear in their true form in front of me and say, Hey, bitch, stop freaking out! Thinking about how Fiona's bit in the first Shrek movie about how ogres are so ugly and unlovable, which is overheard by Shrek, is the perfect example of how self-depreciation can really harm not only the people around you who love and care for you, but also people who share the same characteristics that you are mocking in yourself. I need to do a better job of reminding myself of this. Once again, everyone say, Thanks, Shrek. Yep, that exists. Company creates a lamp with removable glowing balls to help guide you around at night. Finally, the orbs of pondering. This is a Lindor truffle. Mm. My mom bought me some, and the second I took one, my dad snatched it from me and said, I've caught the golden snitch! 50 points for Gryffindor! Ugh, absolute bullshit. It's 150 points. Pleb. While you were exploring each other's bodies, I was exploring this desolate and fucked up spaceship. Well, what if we... Explored each other's bodies in this desolate and fucked up spaceship. What if we explored each other's desolate and fucked up bodies? All right, is this that Among Us thing everyone keeps talking about? Ugh. Existing is too fucking exhausting. I want to live in a tree with my cat and have brunch with my neighbors. Hell yeah. Your first and last recent emojis are your agenda now. Mine is B. Heart. Oh, God. Great. My gender is fucking employee!